64, all the controllers, the memory cards, and that's the GameCube. Okay. So I'm at Walmart and all of these were on clearance for five bucks. Whole bunch of Bravely Seconds. Straight to eBay. Okay, so just got back from Walmart and I found a ton of clearance games for five dollars each. I really couldn't get footage inside Walmart. Uh, there was just way too many people and they were there were a lot of people waiting on me, uh, behind me in line at the at the cash register. So I, you know, I couldn't sit there and, and film everything. But here's my receipt. You can see where they all rang up for five dollars. I got a whole bunch of groceries and stuff today, but 22 games, and that these are just the 3DS games. I'll take a shot of the PS4 games here in a second. But we got several copies of Bravely Second in Lair, a couple of copies of Hey Pikmin, a couple of copies of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and a couple of copies of Mario Party Star Rush. And one copy of Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. And then here are the PS4 games. There's Geometry Wars, Dimensions Evolved, and Finna Factory, The Inpatient, and Eagle Flight. Those are both PSVR games, so I picked those up. I don't have a lot of VR dedicated games. This one looked really interesting, The Inpatient. Everybody's Golf? This is like today's version of, uh, what was that, Hot Shots Golf? And I think they, uh, it's the same concept, same gameplay, they just renamed it. To everybody's golf instead of hot shots ukulele and the impossible lair I've been wanting this game um, I really wanted it on the switch but there's still like $25 on the switch so I, I passed and then Astro Bot rescue mission another VR game and this is basically like the best platformer game on uh, the VR um, very very awesome game I have played the the demo of this and I was so happy to find this for five dollars. But yeah, I, there was twenty-two games all together, five dollars each. That's a, what a hundred, hundred and ten dollars. So some really good choices. I'll be able to resell a lot of this and make probably all of my money back plus profit. Plus I might end up getting the majority of the groceries that I bought for free. So that's a good deal. <laughs> and uh, but there you have it, folks. On to the next. All right, folks, we got a couple of packages in today. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what this one is, but I have no clue on this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Not sure where my, my blade is. Oh, I got one right here. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. So I ordered this on eBay just because, like I said in the last video, I'm bored and I'm buying stuff. And I really wanted this game. So what we have here is Among the Sleep Enhanced Edition. Fantastic little horror game that I've heard a lot of good things about. And... uh Another thing about the publisher Sodesco, 
one thing that I've, I've noticed about their games is that you don't find a lot of their games in retail locations such as Target, Walmart, uh, GameStop unless they've been traded in. Um, primarily you're going to find them directly through like Amazon, uh, pre-ordered through their website. Um, so definitely happy to find this. Um, not find it, but but to buy it off eBay. It was a game I definitely wanted. And so, there we go. I got it now. Now this package, I don't have a clue. It could be a, one of a few things. And if it's what I think it's for, I got an idea. Let's see. Yeah, these were just some, um, some component parts I, I ordered for my LED lights. Uh, I've, I've got the LED lights to go into my room all around the ceiling and I needed a few of these little connectors these male to male connectors and so I've got like a whole little bag of tin here and uh, but that's all that is there you have it folks on to the next got another package in today this is coming from Michigan this is actually coming from a publishing company because I've done something that I don't hardly ever do and I ordered a book and this is supporting a Instagram follower or an Instagram this is supporting someone on Instagram who makes some fantastic fantastic Game Boy mods he actually wrote a book uh, his name is Greg Farrell, or Farrell. He goes by the Instagram tag GameChanger underscore mods. Um, he does some fantastic work, but I picked up his book. He wrote a book on uh, Game Boy modding. And uh, it says, A Beginner's Guide to Game Boy Mods, Collecting, History, and More. Fantastic little uh, paperback here um, with some excellent excellent pictures on the inside um, I can't wait to give this like a thorough read and uh, yeah it's I had to support this dude because this dude makes some fantastic fantastic looking mods and uh, he's pretty well known on Instagram but uh, there you have it folks on to the next Okay, folks, we got a package here from Mr. Ford. Mr. Ford's a good friend of the channel. Good friend of mine. And I'm kind of nervous because I he did he didn't message me to, to let me know he was sending anything or what we got going on here. But what we got what is all this? Oh, oh cool dude yes all right so so mr. Ford sent sent a blu-ray we got Everest I don't think I've seen that uh, yeah I'm pretty sure I haven't seen that very cool I will definitely give that a a watch then we got I don't know. I don't know anything about this either, but I'm I'm always down for some IMAX. And we got IMAX Under the Sea 3D. Then a uh, a game I needed for the um, there's a bunch of HD remakes, HD collections for the PS3. I've got a stack of them. Um, there's there's a few that I'm missing. I want to say maybe six or seven that I'm missing. 
Um, one of them was Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection. Very awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Ford. Oh yeah. And it's got, it's got a reversible cover too. So let's take a look at the reversible cover. So this is the one that he sent. And then you can reverse the cover and this is the image on the reverse side. Very awesome. Thank you so much for I really appreciate that. Then there's another box in here. <laughs> and it says good luck. Uh, I threw in some rewards for eating the chip. Enjoy Ford Wagner. Okay, so Ford hit me up. He's like, hey man, if I sent you this, would you record yourself on film and make a video out of it? And I kind of debated it because, to be honest with you folks, I don't have the best heart condition. Um, so I'm not quite sure as to uh, how this would affect me. I do like spicy stuff, I do like hot stuff, but uh, we'll just have to see, we'll have to see. Uh, first off, I want to get you, uh, everyone's vote on whether or not you think I should do this. Um, but he sent me the, the, the Packy One Chip Challenge. So supposedly, this is like super friggin' hot. It says, warning. Eat at your own risk, not for the faint of heart. Not everyone will enjoy the extreme heat, and I'm probably one of those. Do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers, nightshades, or uh, capsaicin, caps, capsaicin, or are pregnant or have any medical conditions. Keep out of reach of children after touching the chip wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing if you can't handle the heat try drinking milk or eating ice cream fear the reaper and consider yourself warned after this health should be easy earn your spot on Packy's wall of infamy so supposedly okay this this is a a, a one tortilla chip and it is made with uh, if I'm not mistaken Carolina Reapers which are some of the hottest peppers on the planet and uh, so this company they make they make tortilla chips much like Doritos and they've got uh, they've got this challenge I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous just because I do have a heart condition, um, and so I'm not really sure if I can handle it. <clears throat> so, if you have not seen any of these challenges on YouTube, uh, take a look at some videos and then get back with me in the comment section and let me know whether or not you think I should I should attempt this um, I don't want to I don't want to be like a wimp or anything but you know there are some some health precautions I need to take before I I try something like this uh, the little prizes he sent we got the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team and Red Rescue Team Rescuers Guide so that came in the box as well as what well, looks to be some stamps. Uh, classic movie monsters. Okay, maybe they're not stamps. Actually, they're just really big pictures of stamps. That's really cool. So we got classic movie monsters. Oh, wow. Never mind. They're actually postcards. Okay, cool. Uh, classic movie monsters. And they look like stamps. And so we got we got the Phantom of the Opera. We got Dracula, Frankenstein, 
The Mummy. Wolfman. There you have it. Very cool. Some some really cool postcards. Those are those are very awesome. I love anything horror. Anything horror related. And classic movie monsters. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with that. Very cool postcards. Um, but there you have it, folks. Uh, that's going to be the package from Mr. Ford. Ford, I'm going to get back with you on this. Um, let me do some more research and see if uh, see if my heart condition would, in fact, uh, be affected by eating this. So uh, there you have it, folks. On to the next. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was looking in the pictures and I, I didn't know if that was just like a little scuff mark or oh, yeah, it, it kind of looked cracked right there. I was like, what's going on with that? <laughs> yeah, I didn't have time to clean it up, but I cleaned all the cartridges. Yeah. That way you don't have to blow and beat and yeah. nearly push them in there. Stick on it. There's one or two that stick a little loose on. That's but fine. I got a bunch of replacement sticks at the house. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, they got, I don't know whoever had it before <laughs> me. I'm assuming they swapped out the shells. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll I have to change they, that out then. <laughs> That's weird. I found a, a black one like that one time. It was a solid black back on it, mm -hmm. and the front was clear black. So I was just like, what was going on? I appreciate you getting back to me on this. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry it took so long. I've been so beat up at work lately. It's just... Yeah. But everything here, man, I know that there's not going to be any issues with it because I've been playing it. But if there is, I've had to call me. Dude, it's, it's fine. I've been doing this a long you know time. Oh, yeah. Just call me or message me or whatever. I take... I take all of this stuff completely apart and clean it and oh, refurbish yeah. consoles and refurbish games and so I'm familiar with how yeah I'm familiar with how to do it. I don't have cases for the game so I put the two sports games in there and Mario should be in the actual system. Okay. Did you say you had two controllers for this or just one? Yeah, there's two. I'm, if there's only one in the bag, I had to lift the other one. Yeah. I had to fill out my truck this morning. All right, 150. Because I forgot the other controller you're gonna take 10 off of. That works. That's what I mean. Because well, I told you everything that was there was missing yeah. the controllers. So. That works for me. That's my bad. I, it had to fill out. There's 140 the there. Appreciate that, man. No problem, brother. Looking out. Work, All right, brother. Uh, I've got some Super Nintendos and stuff, too, and I just got to get them dug out, make sure to get them all cleaned up. Uh, it'll take me a, about a week or so to get to them and everything. Super Nintendo, some games and stuff? Yeah, I got cool. It.
sit here and take a look at it. Everything's in here. I know it works too because the dog just bought it from the man over at Christmas time for grandson. He's four. Okay. He ain't got no Not the oldest book game. I love the oldest stuff. Yeah, it's not here. It's a little dusty, but. The controller's in there. And you can right here's the controller for it. Okay. And she give you this one too. Alright. Like I said, the games in here, this is the game she got for him in there, the frog, and all, all kind of games in there. Yeah, we already discussed it. Yeah. Yeah, because he's never played that one, so it could be possibly being down. Uh, she sent me a video of it oh, working. Okay. Yeah. I told her 110 yeah. as well as going to go for it. Yeah. Like I said, he ain't even took any interest in it because, like I said, he's a, he's a four year old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's going to want something that's going to jump up to go where he can get interested in Be there, right there. Count that, make sure it's there. Yeah, okay. All righty. Okay, folks, got a package in. This is coming from Square Enix. Now let's go ahead and dive on in. Go. And what did I get from Square Enix? Well, I got some some paper, a pack and slip, and I got the deluxe edition of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, this was pretty hard to find, and copies on eBay were a little bit scalped. Prices were a, li a little inflated, uh, but Luckily, um, for my sake, because I really wanted this, um, Square Enix restocked their supply. So you could get it for the going retail rate. But there you have it, folks. On to the next. Okay, so here's everything for sale that I picked up. A lot of the N64 and that GameCube lot, both of those N64 lots, all of that was doubles for me. But some of this is listed already and some of it is not. I just haven't got around to it. If you see anything that you want, by all means, hit me up on Instagram. You can find the link in the description. Passover. 
All right, now let's take a look at everything I'm keeping for the collection. Okay, and here's everything that is going into the collection. I ended up keeping all of those PS4 games. And one of each of uh, the 3DS games. One of the 3DS games, uh, Bravely Second, uh, Radical Reggie from the Metal Jesus Crew, he hit me up on, uh, on uh, Facebook Messenger and asked if I would hook him up. And I gladly did. I like, I like Reggie. I've learned a lot from him about PlayStation in general and games to be on the lookout for. And he's given me a lot of a lot of knowledge and a lot of entertainment. So time to give back. King of Clubs had Wii Sports in it, so I, that's why I ended up buying it at the pawn shop. Two games for the price of one. But there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Ted, a collector, and have a good one.